Alaya Ahmed is bagging the sawdust he uses in planting mushrooms. The mushroom farmer says manual farming slows down the process and reduces output. We are still using hand bagging system, which is stressful and uh, cumbersome. So if uh, machineries are input with the assistance of the government, it will help a lot in improving our system, reducing our stress and increasing our productivity. Mushroom farming is relatively new in the country, with just a few farmers cultivating and harvesting it for food and commercial purposes. According to the National Farmers Information Service, Nigeria has produced an average of 300 tons every year in the last three years against a demand of 1,200. Experts say inadequate awareness about the potentials in mushroom farming, poor funding and lack of technology have slowed down the growth of the industry. If government come to take things like um, sensitization, creating awareness, people become aware. A lot more people will go into mushroom farming. But we are looking at mushroom to become a household name where we can have um, maybe 20, 30, 40 percent of Nigerians growing mushroom in their backyards, in the, around their, the corner of their houses, and some into a big time part of it. When that is done, one, you create employment because every small holding will be able to sell their mushroom. Experts also say the government needs to invest in equipment and make it available at low cost to improve on what Nigerian farmers currently produce. We're talking about machines. Machines for mixing, machines for bagging, machines for spraying, machines. Those things will create uh, a very efficient production system. It reduces the cost of production. And then you try to come and subsidize the machines or provide machines outrightly. In July, the government said it will make available over $300 million loan to farmers through the Central Bank of Nigeria under its Agricultural Credit Guarantee Scheme Fund. It also says it will partner with China to introduce technology that uses low-cost materials like herbal plants and grass that will see farmers cultivating other species like button and shiitake mushrooms. The government is hoping this will increase mushroom production and promote exports. It is also looking to attract more people, especially youths, into mushroom farming. It's not yet clear when this partnership will take place, but farmers like Alaya will be looking to move away from manual production to increase their yield.